What's up everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today is my TBR for June, which is actually just like two books for June and my Romance-a-thon TBR because I'm doing something called Bookopoly, which is what I play in my online book club. And so I don't know what my TBR is going to be for that because it's all about, you know, chance and landing on your actual Bookopoly board. So let's just go ahead and get right into this video. Okay, so first off, I want to first talk about my spoiler vlog for June. I hope you guys are really excited. I just got this book in the mail for my birthday. I have been so thankful to have this book. A big shout out to Gwen. And there's going to be so many other people that like I'm actually reading the books for this month that I like received in my gifts. So if I don't like say your name out loud, I'm really sorry, but like I'm so thankful for all of the books. But this one did come from my friend Gwen and I'm gonna be reading The Troop by Nick Cutter. I am so excited to read this because Gabby over at Gabby Reads, she just read it and she has been raving about it. So many people have been raving about it and I am just like loving this cover and I feel like it's going to be a great spoiler vlog book. If you don't know what my spoiler vlog is, it's a reading vlog that I do dedicated to a certain book every single month but in that vlog I literally just give out all of the spoilers while I'm reading so a lot of people make reading vlogs where they're reading a book but you still just don't really know you know the full gist of the story but for those of you that like to read with me you guys can read the troop and watch my reading vlog with spoilers and then you know like exactly what I thought about certain things that happen and even if you don't want to read the book like a lot of people have said that they've watched those vlogs just to like the, you know they want to know what the book is about and so you can do that too all you guys have to know is like obviously not to watch my reading vlog with spoilers if you don't want to be spoiled on the book but this is like a horror book i believe and i like know nothing about it i literally just wanted it because everyone's been raving about it and it was horror and i love any of those types of things wow this sounds really interesting it says once a year, Scoutmaster Tim Riggs leads a troop of boys into the Canadian wilderness for a weekend camping trip. But when an unexpected intruder stumbles upon their campsite, shockingly thin, disturbingly pale, and voraciously hungry, Tim and the boys are exposed to something far more frightening than any tale of terror. I am just so excited to read this. I think it's going to be so great for the spoiler vlog. I cannot wait. Next up is going to be my book tubers and brews live show for june so this month we actually have a couple different booktubers that are joining me from the read with friends group but if you don't know what read with friends is it's a live show that i do um, pretty much weekly we did change it to mondays now so mondays at 7 p.m eastern standard time if you hop on my channel we're usually there live just reading you can read with us for an hour and chat with us for a little bit it's really fun and you get to know a lot of different booktubers through that way but some of the ladies from the read with friends live show are joining me in the booktubers and brews live show for june and we are reading suffer the children by craig de Louis. this is a book i've had on my shelf for a while now i believe last october i did a try a chapter for this book and i loved it but then i ended up not having enough time to read it and so i am so excited to hop back into this book and actually read it and we get to talk all things spoilers again on my booktubers and brews live show which is going to be on june 29th at 7 p.m eastern standard time so that is a monday it's at the end of june and the ladies joining me for this are going to be alex from hooked on books Ashley from Ashley's Book World, Jessica from Peace Love Books, Jesse from Reading with Jess, Rain from Brews and Binds, Marcy from Marcy Reads, and I think that there were a couple other ladies that also wanted to join in. If I'm not mistaken, Crystal from Crystal Marie Books also wants to read this with us, and there might be a couple more, I'm not sure. We'll just have to see how many of the Read with Friends ladies join us in the live show on June 29th. Now, this book, if you don't have a print copy and you do wanna read this along with us, the ebook and the audiobook are are both on Scribd at the time of me filming this. So right here we have an ebook and down here we have the audiobook. So if you don't have Scribd yet and you want to try it out, I have a code that gives you 60 days free. If you want to try it out, you can always listen to this book or read this book with us, but the code is down below. If you already have Scribd, of course, you can just hop right in. I might do a whole listen, read. I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do, but I remember reading the first chapter and I was so intrigued. It is a like vampire 
apocalyptic story. So I am so here for that. I am very, very excited and I hope you guys are too. Okay, so we're gonna get into my romance-a-thon TBR very soon, but I wanted to show you guys what I'm actually doing in my book club for June because you guys can still join if you wanna come join. It's super, super fun. But before I get into that, also I did wanna let you guys know that I am working on another secret TBR for June and I am so excited, you guys. Like after my secret TBR for May, reading all the, your favorite thrillers, like I, I think I'm addicted to secret TBRs now, you guys. Like, I think it's a thing. I love it. It was so fun to film. It was so fun to, like, release it out to you guys. And then you guys just loved it. Like, I, I just... It was just a cool video that you guys, you know, showed me that you actually cared about it and that made me really want to make more content like that. So I'm working on a secret TBR, really excited for it. I have way too many books for that TBR and so I'm really hoping that I can get at least four or five in, but I, in reality I have like six or seven that I really want to get read for that, but we'll see how that goes. But I wanted to show you what I'm doing in my book club. I mentioned I'm doing Bookopoly, and so this is my Bookopoly board. Now you don't have to make a big one like this if you don't want to. I also have a smaller version in my bullet journal for when I go to the beach, but what Bookopoly is, is we're going to be starting at go and you roll and the colors are all different genres and then, you know, different spaces are gonna be different prompts or different things that I have to do. So on my board, just really quickly, I have historical fiction, nonfiction, horror, romance, thriller, dystopia, contemporary, and fantasy. Wow. And then there's some other prompts where I'll have to read like an ebook or an audiobook, a graphic novel, a physical novel. And then there's other things such as community chests are books that I had to pick from a list of all the members' favorites in the book club. So I do have 112263 on that list. I have the Southern Guides to Slaying Vampires on that list. There's some other ones that are really great too, but I don't wanna give out the full list. It's only if I land on that and pick up the card. I'm not sure what I'm reading yet for that. So how this works is like if I land on a genre, I get to pick any book that fits into that genre. So that's why I don't have a full TBR to give you guys because I am playing Bookopoly. It is my favorite event in my book club. So I highly suggest that you guys come join us because you can either create a big board like this and then keep it. This is mine from last year. I just updated it or you can put one in your bullet journal, or we have printable templates, or even you can create one on Excel. We already have a spreadsheet like ready for you guys. You just put in all of your stuff. And so, yeah, I really hope you guys join us. It is going to be so, so fun. It's so fun watching everyone rolling on their boards. It's really, really cool. So let's go ahead and get into my Romance-a-thon TBR because I figured I would just put it in here since I won't have enough time to create a video closer to the readathon. If you don't know what Romance-a-thon is, it's a romance readathon that's hosted by Gabby from Gabby Reads and myself and it is going to be from the 22nd to the 28th of June. We are doing a buddy read so I have If I Never Met You. This is the buddy read and there are two live shows but I'm just gonna go ahead and put the announcement video, I think it's here, put the announcement video there for you guys because I don't want to repeat everything I said but you can watch that announcement video if you want to know when the live shows are happening and all of the different prompts. So obviously my TBR I'm reading If I Never met you. Then for the five words or more in a title, I'm going to read the guy on the right. I'm really excited. My friend Emily sent me this for my birthday. Also my friend Sylvia sent me this. So thank you guys for sending me these books, but really excited for this. I'm actually not very sure what a lot of these books are about. I kind of just pick up romances and just kind of read them because to me, romance synopsises always kind of sound the same. I don't know. It sounds actually pretty cool. So this is about a like two guys that are in college and the one guy like finally has a girl that he wants but the other guy is like taking it from him so i think that this is like a love triangle which is really really cool i'm really excited and i've heard really good things about it then next up this is what i'm going to be using for my favorite romance trope i love forbidden romances so i'm going to be reading the idea of you by rob robin lee i think is the name so this is a forbidden romance i believe it is a age gap so it's a 30 nine year old and a younger girl I think I'm not exactly sure but hopefully I like this since I do love age gap forbidden romances and for a book that has a new to me author I'm going to be reading for the first time ever Candy Steiner on the rocks I think this is a small town romance 
um, which I'm excited about because I don't think I've even read a small, small town romance before. Um, but yeah, excited. I have no clue what I'm getting myself into. I do love the cover and everything. And I've heard great things about Candy Steiner. So I thought that's the book I would pick for my new to me author. <laughs> okay. And then for the last prompt, is it the last prompt? No. For the prompt that um, also is an illustrated cover, I actually have two different ones. I'm not sure which one I'm going to pick. So if you have a preference, let me know down in the comment box. But I also might try them both out during Romanceathon. I have Get a Life, Chloe Brown, and I also have the worst. Whoa! And I also have the worst best man um, by Mia Sosa, and I believe that this is a 2020 release because I still need a book to fit that prompt. Both of these are 2020 releases, so I could read either of these for the 2020 release. They also have illustrated covers, so I'm not even sure if I'm going to like double up on stuff. Like I just have so many options here, but then I heard that this one is very emotional. Um, and so that's why I'm not sure if I should read this one because I don't think, I don't think I have any emotional books in the pile. So obviously I have to read this because it's the buddy read, but then for like the illustrated cover and the 2020 release, like, Literally, these could like fit in all of those. So like, I don't know, what do you guys think? I just have like this whole pile of books that I need to read. So this is my Romance-a-thon TBR. Wait, that one's backwards. This is my Romance-a-thon TBR. So I think I'm just gonna start out with all of these unless you guys like really want me to like pare down on a couple of those and you guys can let me know. Um, but I think I'll just start with those and see how it gets through. I am going to be doing daily vlogs for Romance-a-thon. So I hope you guys are really excited for that. I haven't done daily vlogs since Corona started back during the backlist readathon. And I am coming back from the beach literally like two days before Romance-a-thon starts. So I'm really excited. I should have a bunch of time to get daily vlogs up and I really wanna read a book a day. So you guys can see all my daily vlogs with all these books in it. Okay that's it that is my full tbr i hope you guys are really excited i hope you're really excited to see like what i'm going to be reading for my secret tbr if you guys want to do any guesses i love when you guys guess about it but i'll probably drop some hints i think it'll be easy though for you guys to guess this one if i post what books i'm reading so i might try and keep it under wraps I'm not sure, I don't know. But if you have any other like secret TBR videos you would want me to make in the future, definitely drop them down below because like I said, I'm obsessed. I would love to hear you guys' thoughts if you want me to do special videos for you guys. But I will see you guys very soon in Wednesday's video, if not before then. Bye everyone.